The next one we're going to cover off is the uh, user box option. So we'll select user box and you can think of the user box as like a folder of documents and uh, you can see I created one user box in here earlier just so we've got something to work with if I have created one called demo so a user box it's like a folder and I'll double click on that one and you can see there's nothing in there at the moment but I'm going to show you how we can store a document in there so I've already put a document face up in the document feeder and I can then select this option on the side here, I'll select save. I can then modify any of these uh, buttons underneath if I want it double sided or change the resolution, uh, color black and white and so on. But I'm just going to leave all the settings as default the only thing I'm going to change is the file name so you can see that's got an automatically generated file name not very meaningful so I'm gonna press the C button to clear the name and I'm just gonna call this uh, document uh, test oops if I know how to type test and hit OK and start so the document that I had in the document feeder will now be saved into this folder and I can double click on this folder again so I'm going to double tap on that and you can see now that there's one document in there called test and uh, another very handy function is so of course because uh, in, in these user boxes you could store all types of uh, documents there might be forms or brochures or PDF files or documents user guides whatever uh, you might need to store in there so now when I've got a document in there I can select the document and you get a more menu options down the side here you get an option to once I've got a document in there I can copy it I can move and delete it I can send it which means I could send it as a fax or an email directly from here or I can print it so I'm just going to select that document today and I'm going to print show you how to print uh, this document so I just hit the print document print button I can make any changes to the print here or select up there how many sets or copies I wish and hit start and the document that I had in that user box will now uh, uh, print out. So this is very handy for documents that uh, don't change very often. Documents that you can store in there uh, and reprint uh, as you need them. Perfect for forms uh, and static documents. And uh, that's it for the uh, user box.